Yeah, yeah. Well, see, when I met Goop, it was uh, we was in Mount Park. They were before Sun Valley, so I probably had to be in because I didn't get to Sun Valley till like uh, third grade, I want to say. So I was mm -hmm. in Mount Park from first to second grade, and then we moved to Sun Valley around third, maybe fourth. I, I really, it been so many years, but around that time, yeah, we came from Mountain Park first when I first first met, grew up, and then transpired everybody moved to Sun Valley, which is on Boulder Crest. Mountain Park was on Custer Road, like right off Boulder Crest. You know what I'm saying? So, so how old was you about when you met him to begin with? Mm, however old you is, in about the first and second grade. Yeah. So you back him, y'all wasn't even teenagers or nothing like nah, that. Nah, hell no, nah, no. Nah. It was Nintendo out back then too. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all came up together. Yeah, nah, the regular yeah, Nintendo yeah. one you had to blow. Blow the cartridge. Yeah. <laughs> if it don't work, you gotta yeah. keep blowing it a few times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mean, now, now I'm gonna ask you this because I cause cause I watched you on, on No Jumper. Okay. Is it true, bro, that you never left Georgia until you started rapping? But I just wanna know that. Never left Boulder Chris. Damn. Until Not even the city. I wouldn't even go to Moreland and Moreland like right Boulder there, Chris, right, right there, here, yeah. Moreland. I ain't going to Moreland. I'm staying on Boulder Chris. Why? Like, why is that? Um, I don't know. I want to say we always was taught in our hood. Like our hood is our hood. Bad stuff happen when you leave your territory. Mm -hmm. Type like if, for instance, like by me being the East Side dude. Uh -huh. Even not saying West Side bad, but. East don't really go to the west, and west don't really go to the east. Nah, I understand. You know that, what I'm saying? Yeah. So by me being, man, right here say that all the time. Yeah. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's just like you stay where you know where your comfortability is on that. Mm -hmm. And once you go out that comfortability zone, then shit, anything possible to happen. I feel you on that, man. <laughs> um, like you say, you came from Sun Valley. Mm -hmm. We gotta get into it, man. How okay. did you end up being Gucci man? How was that experience like when you met him? Did y'all just click off top, or did it, you know, mm, Yeah, we clicked off top on some in my part playing around as kids type shit. Then getting older, and when we moved to Sun Valley, uh, he was like a top. In Sun Valley, we had like sections of what part you stayed in. I was like a bottom boy because I stayed at the bottom. Right. Goot stayed at the top, so he was like a top boy. So, but we were still in rap, but it's take a minute to get to the top of the hill from where I'm at and it's a long walk so either we on the basketball court in the middle because we got the middle boys you know what I'm saying that's where Brandon Putman don't come from right there in the middle where the basketball court at see where we where I was at I had the creek Gooten had the uh what they had up there I don't think they had shit at the top the middle had the yeah. basketball court yeah. <laughs> we had the creek and that's really about it, you know what I'm saying? So they don't change the name on them. Right? Uh, I think it's uh, damn, what's the name on the ball? Uh, mm. mm. I remember, I remember not too long ago, somebody told me they changed the name. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. uh, what was you know what they was called? Talk, yeah, I, I can't remember. I want to say something about the park or something, but then again, I might be wrong. When when did you get the ball <laughs> for one rap? When did that happen? Mm. I want to say they kind of started, they kind of started young, uh, walking around in apartments. You know how apartments got them uh, green generators? Mm -hmm. And we started out being on them, mm -hmm. freestyling, being on them, freestyling. Right. And then um, as we got older, I want to say I had a brother of mine who got killed named Dayon. Mm -hmm. um, he used to walk around with a boombox, and I used to be rapping on top of other music listening through the boombox and he always encouraged me like man juice you can probably really rap bro because you freestyling on these new beats and it sound good you know what <laughs> yeah, i mean? yeah, yeah yeah so i'm like and then at first i still wasn't even serious i wasn't even serious then um i had got caught i had to do some time but the lawyer worked it for uh get my five do two suspended to like 90 day boot camp or something like that I had to do mm -hmm. and then um, in the boot camp I'm writing and freestyling for the in the boot camp type shit and then when my sister came and get me from uh, boot camp when they let you out cause you know you like hours down the road or whatnot, but your family gotta come get you right. mm -hmm. or catch uh, Greyhound or type shit. 
So my sister done came and got me. And uh, when I got in the car, she handed me Gucci Trap House album. You mm. know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn. So he was already. He had done. Um, Kind of made he had no made it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? He had no sign on a local level, cat, yeah, mm -hmm. and had a, a actual album with a barcode on the back, you know what I'm saying? So, um, when I when I get in the car and she hand me this, I'm looking at it like, oh, shit, my boy actually made it. He said he was gonna do it. Mm -hmm. We always been some rap type, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it actually happened for uh, somebody that I really know, and and it actually happened for him. So. I always had that mindset for coming home from boot camp. Like, man, I'm finna give it a try and see if it worked for me too. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, but, speak, now, speaking of that, now Gucci Man once said, "Jew Man spoiled. He already got what all these rappers want. What made you just leave that life alone? And just be like, you know what? Let me just put all my energy in, into my music career." Mm, I mean. What, what was oh me getting shot eight times and then uh getting diagnosed with diabetes a week after I get shot eight times. No, I got diagnosed with diabetes first, mm. and then I got shot eight times seven days later after getting diagnosed with diabetes. So was it was that was that that O eight incident? Yeah, yeah okay. O eight, yeah, it was uh, two thousand eight. I got shot eight times, and then two thousand eight uh, a week later, I got diagnosed. No, diagnosed with diabetes first, and then I got shot. Yeah, that's how it went. It, when when did you know you got diagnosed with that? Cause um, I remember when I used to watch the watch our freestyle videos. I was, I was like, shit, you had a little weight on it, but mm -hmm. then it just went away. I ain't know mm -hmm. if you were working on it. I ain't know what was going yeah, on. Shit, we I were like, shit, it's a whole new juice right. bag, goddamn. I wish I would push your weight, guys. <laughs> but um yeah i was uh i was at a i want to say my first my first booking for a show in um roanoke virginia okay i end up uh getting real sick like but i don't know why i'm sick like but i'm throwing up constantly can't stop and like, i'm constantly pissing and shit, so I'm at the time I'm still drinking regular drinks, not knowing you got mm -hmm. diabetes. That my diabetes fucked up, mm -hmm. and then so I'm so dehydrated, I'm just thirsty, mm -hmm. but not knowing the sugar is what's tearing me up. So I'm still drinking drink, drink every time. Hey, as soon as I'm drinking, but by my uh, blood sugar level high now, mm -hmm. every time I drink some, I'm throwing it right back up. Mm -hmm. I can't hold nothing on my stomach. Can't hold nothing on my stomach. So I'm throwing up bad. I do the show sick as a dog. Uh, I want. Did we come home that night? We might have came home next day, or even might have came home that night. I know when I got on the road coming back, I'm throwing up, going coming down the highway. Can't stop, shit won't stop. I don't know where it coming from though. Um, get make it back, uh, make it back to the A. I'm super sick now, like I'm weak as a dog. I can't even get up off the floor. Mm -hmm. Uh, call my girl, come get me from where I was at. In the midst of that, now I'm throwing up black and I'm throwing up yellow, shit, but it go from yellow to black. That's the lining of your stomach. You feel me? Damn, huh? Really? Yeah, yeah. So now, um, we in slick panic mode because I ain't mm. never experienced nothing like this. So she, uh, convinced me, like, bro, we gotta go straight to the hospital because something ain't right. You just can't stop throwing mm. up. Right. Get to that motherfucker. But man, blood sugar got 980. What it's supposed to be? 150. Damn. Shit. And then that's when you find out. That when I find out, and the folk kept me. I think I stayed in the hospital longer for diabetes than getting shot. I got shot on a, let me see, I got shot on a Sunday. They put me out the hospital on a Wednesday. Is it true that you did a show that same week? I did a show that Friday on Crutch. <laughs> you gotta get the check, you gotta get it. Yeah, I did a show that Friday. I was up there more different here when I was rapping like a motherfucker, goddamn. Hey, you feel me? The folk looking like, right. damn, I didn't hear anything wrong with him, but I had just got shot. Yeah. And it fed up the nerves in my right leg, so I couldn't put no weight on my right leg. 